that is the news for the last month, the April 25th. And I have the coolest stuff here. A couple of new hardware from the ground, from the air, new software, events. If you not like to miss the hottest stuff, stay tuned. We have a couple of new hardware. I think one of the important news is the new Blink from Faro. You can see the picture here. This is a combination system. It is an uh, imaging laser scanner. I think the focus is image with laser and, this, uh, and they have the Faro automatic workflow. Uh, you can uh, you combine terrestrial scans with SNAM scans and have a push and button solution and you can have a full automatic data processing and this should be bringing scanning technology in the entry market level quality to a new customer group like um, uh, people from the construction industry they like to scan uh, during the factory process having a digital twin or some surveyors for easy stuff that is the new system i think i will not going too deep what i can say you is the highlights of the system is you have a scanning device system uh, one is an LED indicator to show you if you're really on track. So you're using SLAM technology to track your position and then you make single scans as terrestrial scans with an, uh, Pano images and uh, a terrestrial scan from this HESI sensor head. And you can scan, uh, you have a high resolution. Now the high resolution, you have a high accuracy, can be up to four millimeters point accuracy and 10 meters and have a maximum range from 80 meters. and. The HDR camera of 25 megapixel for one uh, setup, and if you make a full scan, you can get in 125 megapixel raw image uh, resolution as results. If you like to need more, you see there's a big also English video to this topic. Uh, I think we can link this inside. Again, you can push this somewhere here, so and see it. Then we come to another player. I'm should be interesting. I'm actually here on the German side. Um, it's the company Hilti. I don't know how global they are. Definitely they're a big player in Europe. Hilti is usually, uh, if we open to their shops, usually there is a tool of many factories. They have drill hammer and stuff like that. Super big company here in the market for this and have a big customer base in the construction industry. And they already started with easy total stations and now they have these Hilti P3D 800 laser scanner. And this is this nice device. What you can see, it's in this typical Hilti red. And what I can tell you to the system, I think I have here some overview. At first, uh, if you are from the market and you see the system and say, ah, maybe I have seen it before, I would say you are right, because this looks like an OEM version of a Trimble device. So, and basically I think it's something like maybe an X9, but the difference is you operate this by an own software, this is a healthy software, and you have these, some information. You have an accuracy from 1.5 noise, uh, millimeters, the noise range is 0 0.6 to 80 meters max, and two millimeter is the range accuracy. Also, you have a very precise system. Yes, also very speed. You can be 50 millimeter point spacing is in, in one minute. If you're going uh, by 10 meters, uh, and that's the accuracy. If you're going then larger, you can be up to five, five and a half minutes if you have a higher resolution scan. Um, the price point is pretty similar to, uh, one is very good is uh, the operation from the temperature is minus 20 to 50 degrees. Uh, that's super good and IP55 is the protection. And the price range is pretty close to, I think the Trimble price is not so different. So. It's similar in the price range as it's not like a $50,000 device that is more on the higher end. Let us go to the next system. Uh, it's, we are in XL, we have a new, uh, we have the new Topcon system and the name from this system, it's have also interesting name is CR hashtag, uh, no, CR dash P1. And this fits in the GLS 2200 line and GTLR 1200 line. I like these <laughs> names. <laughs> And if you see this system and you are from the market, you see, hmm, maybe I have seen it. I would say, yeah, definitely you have seen it before because that is an OEM version uh, of a ferro scanner. I think you already speak about this cooperation from both uh, manufacturers together. And uh, yeah, they're often now this uh, device. And here we have this data set. You use their own software. 
uh, environment, also the operational is with this dashboard what they have or this tablet. Uh, you start there, um, the, the system, and this runs then later in this post-processing software. I think we can see it somewhere here. Uh, that's here, the scan, then you have their software, and then you can, yeah, you can, you, after in processing, you can use it with uh, a quality analyzing and using Verity and Risen. Um, I think it's coming from the clear edge uh, part of Topcon, and you can come, uh, you can then use for communication the college web interface. I didn't hear before from this one, I cannot tell you so much. And then we have another one uh, from Topcon, it's also for scanning device, and this I have also a very nice name, this is the CR-HY1. So uh, it's, uh, and this is a uh, handheld scanner, as I said, an iPhone with a PIX4D integration, PIX4D catch, using this Topcon GNS technology for the um, geo-referencialization and uh, offering then a low-cost scanning auto device for other application, like Topcon improved by getting new OEM hardware to their workflows. And then some new hardware stuff that's coming now from a big brand. Sony launched the AS-DT1, <laughs> CR1, DT1, XY1. <laughs> so, uh, that's their name, and this is a lighter depth sensor. And the idea is this is super smart. You see how small it is, and it's only 50 grams. It is a super small and lightweight. Uh, if you look on the specs, it can scan up to 40 meters outdoor and uh, indoor and 20 meters outdoor. Um, it's then detected that you can use this on robots and drone. Well, if I see using 20 meters range on the drone outside, it's maybe not the best one, but of course we have also drones that can fly in, in, inside. Also their, their focus is on robotic application. They basically acquires a very lightweight system. I don't have any information about the pricing. I'm uh, there free, and that's a time of flight sensor. Don't have any accuracy, don't have any uh, speed information here. So I don't know, I don't see so much in a moment. Okay, maybe in the specifications. So yeah, here we have a frame rate, right? 30 frames per second. Oh, that's we have to calculate. And wave length is 940 nanometers. So, give me my river. Then we have another system coming here from the uh, using also uh, Pix4D Catch. This is the company ProStar. They have a cooperation with Pix4D Catch for using precise or capturing precise data and for using this for augment reality of critical underground infrastructure. This software can be used in their program. They have uh, they call them Point Man that we have here. And um, Pointment is an underground mapping uh, software. And they have now the option to use this scanning device together with Pix4D Catch. I don't know, they're coming from the US, US and Canada, I think so. I never heard it. Does somebody use it? Maybe if you use it, leave a comment if you like it. Then we go more, and now we go in the air. We're going here to Austrian company Wexel, and they uh, introduced a new hardware, the Ultracam Osprey 4.2, and this have now new a new sensor head, also offering different sensors, uh, Nadia sensors, infrared, I think so, corridor mapping, also RGB, also there's different kinds. They have also two systems, standard and tailor, also for longer range, and this you can use practical. Uh, you have this option to use this. Um, for different application, you are 27% more faster. You can use it from lower altitude and then with the tailor to going to a higher, higher altitude. And you have flexible operation modes for what you like, only nadir or corridor mapping or all mapping information together. So there is plenty of options if you are a professional user in the airplane with cameras. Then we go a little bit lighter. This is the GeoQ American brand. And they have an HSI system, and they launched here the T4 One Light, and this is an accessible, professional-grade sensor, and this is super light, and you can use it then on drones that not have so higher capacity. And I also saw that they can use it with these, I don't know the name. I think it's the Vispa drone from the U.S. I think this is a U.S. company. The 
developed this drone and you can use this and you have on site this has size system you have also the FLIR 5 megapixel global shutter camera with 80, 80 degrees field of view and then we jumping more then we come to next it's uh, now we go to the Chinese one DJI Terra offer also new new features in their software and the features are it's they have a LiDAR visible light fusion you see here they have here the uh, data and they can combine this together you see here they can have substantial reconstruction and you can see it very nice here on the next information it looks you have maybe a little bit gray color information and then you can push this together and make a reconstruction and get a more better visible view this functionality i think we can see it here also very good where you can combine data and get more precise data out okay and then let us move forward i think this is a hexagon announced the new services they call them digital factory as a service launch uh, a thing they have in department they have a lot of software stuff for running factories digital twins space optimization there's a lot of stuff and they're offering now a solution to map and model um, factories i think they are really say to create immersive 3d models of factory using different application from hexagon solution and and specialized tours from their vendors um, and they developed a uh, team of hexagon scanning experts who scan the manufacturing anywhere in the world to capture high accurate data as international services i find this a little bit interesting this hexagon offering a scanning service and having a lot of own service provider as customer base they are also offering scanning of digital factories i see there a little bit problem with there's some maybe some overlap i don't know if i would be an industry scanning company with hexagon device i maybe i would be not so happy that they're making now completely similar stuff to me or maybe they're offering something complete self i don't know maybe leave a comment about this and we go to the next one amateur group from germany they are uh, offering now uh, forces the google, google cloud and uh, using their the ai capacity from google cloud i think that's definitely interesting that they can use these event ai and cloud features from google and they are offering this in europe usa and apec i think that will be mostly going to the us market i don't know it's google will be so strong in this application i don't know with the actual political situation maybe they like to use more european cloud in europe and more in asian cloud in asia but uh, for the us customer customer will be this an important upgrade uh, then we have an hexagon have another information that they launched a new robotic division to drive next generation autonomy i think with all the technology what they have they're believing this robotic system coming more and they won't be with their tools uh, offering their um, some solution finding for robotic application i think that's is what they like to do here and then we have another chapter is scan to bim university original found by clear edge i don't know who founded this this was a kelly Cohn from uh, and laser larry or one of the other guys so original founded by clear edge and now moved from clear edge to us ibd us ibd is the us institution of building documentation there is an institute that's responsible for standards lod's training workflows and these this teaching uh, staff is now part of um, this US by IBD. And then finally, uh, we have some information. There was a big conference, a new conference in Prague, 24 to 25 April. Uh, 3D ISG, CD Immersive and Spatial Experience was a launched original by Slovakian guys. Uh, what I understand, but we can check the video what we have. It's, I think it was by launched by Mikhail Gula and uh, Thomas Barna from Slovakia. I think they had the idea and make a big conference and the conference going well, having over 300 attendees, two days, 30 plus speakers. And we doing to that a complete video session about some interviews, what's going on there with some interesting stuff. What we saw there uh, is in English. You are, we are happy if you are check out what's going what was uh, the important stuff on this conference and then we move forward uh, to another conference uh, 
next month, begin of next month, 4 to 5th June, is the Geo Business in the UK, and this is the meeting point for geospatial stuff, but also is an architectural point sites or digital construction, but geospatial and scanning will be a topic, and we will be also there with our, uh, we have an own boost with some of our accessory. If you are a UK client, uh, we have a lot of clients in the UK, or you come somewhere else and you are there and you like to meet us, you are happy, you are happy, welcome in our boost. And with this information, I'm on the end on this show. And like every time, leave a comment, ask us any questions. Don't forget uh, to subscribe to the channel or leave a thumbs up. I say bye-bye. Anyway.